and eight letter words. The clue is James Garner appears in them. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. All right, thank you, Charlie Tuna. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the television version of everyone's favorite game. Going to meet our Scrabble Sprint champion right now, a new one, Bob Gunter. Hey, Bob. Welcome back this morning. Thank you. Bob has one win. He has $3,000 and just ready to defend for the first time. So he's going to go up and try to win another $1,500 and put that in his belt. We'll be right back to do that right after this word. Stay with us. Come over, Bob. Scrabble Sprint, Bill Perlman has $1,000. He's challenging Bob Gunter. Bob has one win, $3,000. They're both playing for $1,500. They both play the same three words, and the best time wins. Bob, over there, they put you in earphones. He won't be able to hear or see anything you and I talk about, Bill. I'll remind you to hit your plunger, because that's what stops a clock. There are no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Clock will start when we pop in the first two letters at the bottom of the screen. Choose one. The other one goes back into the shuffle. First word, six letters. They're grand. They're grand. Ready? Ready. Go. N. T. They're grand. T. S. O. They're grand. Titans. Oh, oh you got to hit the phone. Uh, before you give me an answer, and it's a, it's a 10 second penalty, is what it is. No, it's not? It was too late hitting the buzzer? Oh, boy, you got a break, Bill. <laughs> you really did. You were too late hitting it, so I tried and I you still five. Know the word. Yeah, it's Tetons. That's what we were looking Teton. for. Grand Teton Mountains. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, don't boo. Bob's got to come up and do the same thing. <laughs> Here we go. We'll try to complete this word. Eight letters. Some of them feel guilty. Some of them feel guilty. Some of them feel guilty. Ready? Okay. Ready. Go. S. V. Convict. Yes, very well. Nicely done. Okay, we'll call this the second word. Has nine letters. He delivers. He delivers. Ready? Ready. Go. N. G. M. He delivers. R. E. He delivers. Messenger. Yes. Okay, we have one to make up. We have a make-up word for Tetons. Seven letters in this word, and the clue is they're dog-eared. They're dog-eared. Ready? Ready. Go. O. L. They're dog-eared. D. O. Poodle. Yes. Okay, 36.7. Sounds like a lot. Let's see how he handles it, okay? Okay, Bob, you have 36.7 seconds. Let's see what happens. First word, six letters. They're grand. They are grand. Ready? Go. N. E. S. They're grand. T. Tetons. Yes, that's correct. Second word, eight letters. Some of them feel guilty. Some of them feel guilty. Ready? Okay. Go. S. B. N. Some of them feel guilty. T. Condit. Yes. 20.4 seconds left of this last word. It has nine letters. He delivers. He delivers. Ready? Ready. Go. N. R. G. He delivers. S. Messenger. You've got it with plenty of time. Yeah, he just walked out over here. Congratulations, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Bill for you. Well, Bill, you got your pals, and Grand Tetons wasn't too tough for him. Bill had a little trouble. Grand, had you not just never heard of that mountain range before? Never heard of it. Before. Yeah, the Grand Tetons are kind of uh, infamous now, I suppose. But Bob got that one with no problem. So, Bill, you're going to leave us with a thousand. Thank you Thank for playing the game. Good player, too. And uh, Bob's got uh, two wins now. He has a total of four thousand five hundred dollars. Defended once successfully. Let's see what happens. We'll be right back. Bob Gunner, two wins, 
Well, as you know, an interesting thing about the Grand Tetons, the French are the ones who discovered the Grand Tetons. And Teton is kind of a French word for Dolly Pardons. <laughs> Le Grand, of course, in French means big. So it actually, in, in French, means big Tetons. <laughs> that's, that's true. I mean, that's as gentle as I can give it to you. <laughs> but that's absolutely true. That's what those mountains are. Okay, we're going to be two new folks right now. Charlie? She's a retired flight attendant. He's an actor. Originally from Irvington, New Jersey, Lori Badami. And originally from Nova Scotia, Canada, Henry Beckman. All right, it's nice to have you all here. How are you, Lori? I'm fine, Seth. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Uh, tell me about yourself, Lori. Well, Seth, I've been married for four years. I have a little girl named Francesca. Hi, Francesca. And uh, she starts school in September. Oh, great. Yeah. Well, nice to have Pretty you on the show. Pretty happy life. Thanks. Good luck to you, Laurie. Thank you. Hi, Henry. Hi. How are you? I'm still struggling with the Grand Tetons. I know, I know. That's a fun story, isn't it? <laughs> the, the, the wonderful thing about it is it's true. That's no. what's always great. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Henry likes to act up. Tell us about yourself. Well, Henry. as in Scrabble, I like to act up or crossways or down or whatever. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I've been in the business for 40 years now, and I'm trying to get out. It's tougher to get out than it is to stay I in. I recognize you for sure. I've seen you in pictures before. I've been lucky, Chuck. Yeah, yeah you have. Yeah, well, welcome to the show. Thank nice you. Good to have you here. Good luck Thank with you both so of you. much. Who won the toss backstage? I did, Chuck. You did, Laurie? Let's go to the board. We're going to play Scrabble until someone gets three words right. And that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint at a chance at 40000 in cash. Take a look at the board as we set up for our first game. We're building on the letter O, Laurie. Eight letters in the word, and the clue is some of them won't go anywhere without a rattle. Now, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares. Some of them won't go anywhere without a rattle. Well, I'll have to start off with two tiles. Chuck, I'll okay. take tile number two and tile number four. G and an M. I'll take the M, Chuck. No, stopper. Over to you, Henry. Some of them won't go anywhere without a rattle. Take another tile, number five. G and a C. Take the C. Okay. No, second stopper in a row. Okay, I guess okay, it has to be in a row. Let's try one second. more tile, Chuck. I'll take tile number six. G and a P. I'll try the P. Some of them won't go anywhere without a rattle. Let's try the G, Chuck. I think I got this one. That's a stopper. I think I know this one. Henry, do you have any idea what it might be? Not a, not a, an idea, no. Okay, let's play speed word. Both put your hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. We will not give you the last letter. I'm going to see if I'm right. I am right. Oh, good. Finally. Some of them won't go anywhere without a rattle. Ready? Go. Some of them won't go anywhere without a rattle. Henry. Jalopy. You've got it. So, boy, you all work for it almost exactly at the same time. Okay, Laurie, back to the board. Building on the letter E in jalopies. There are six letters in this word, and the clue is... Oh, my dear. I had no idea this was in here. I had no idea this was in here when I told that wonderful story. Dolly Parton. I never look at these things. And on top of that, Dolly Parton has an enormous one. Well, oh, Chuck. I'm almost embarrassed because I know her. Let's start off with tile number one and tile number six. An O and a T. I'll try the T. Stop it. Over to you, Henry. I'll take a tile, one for your suit. Okay. <laughs> take the I, please. Dolly Parton has an enormous one. Well, we took care of that. Uh, I'll take the O, please. Okay. Dolly I'll have Parton to go for a couple an more. Enormous one. Have to go for a couple of more, Chuck. Two and four. Hard for me when they start with a vowel like that. C and an L. Uh, take the L, please. No stopper over to you, Laurie. Mm. Well, I don't know it, Chuck. I'll try one more tile. Tile number seven. C and an M. I'll take the M, Chuck. Dolly Parton has an enormous one. I'll try the C. $1,000, if you can tell me what it is. 
income. Boy, you got it right. And I suppose she does, too. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand dollars. You know, a lot of people take shots at Dolly Parton, and I guess there's hardly any way not to in a way. It's not really a shot as much as it is, but an admiration. I worked with her about four or five years ago. She is one of the sweetest women I ever met in my entire life. She's a real sweetie pie, plus a wonderful, or wonderful at everything she does. She also has brains. Okay, Henry, back to the board. Building on the letter I in income. Eight letters in the word. The clue is, it's a consuming desire. A pink square worth a thousand dollars, two blue squares each worth five hundred. Shall I try it? A number two and number seven. Go for it. I and a T. A T, please. You're getting intense there on me, Henry. <laughs> like a stop. Intense? Oh, never mind. It's a cons. <laughs> <laughs> it's a consuming desire. I'll take the other eye, please. Stop her. May work for you, Laurie. Well, I'll start off with tile number five and tile number ten. An N and a T. I'll try the T, Chuck. It's a consuming desire. You see, there are just some days when, depending on how you look at it, everything either goes right or wrong. Mechanically speaking, it's a consuming desire. I'll take the end check. Okay. Stop her. It did work for you, Henry, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> Two more tiles, if you Go don't know it. Go on with a tile four, please, and a nine. Please get another letter up there quick. Right. E and a D. <laughs> now take the D, please. No! No! Well, why not play speed word, Laurie? Why not? Okay, hands on your buzzers. Here we go. Same game. One who gets there the quickest gets the word. It's a consuming desire. Ready? Go. Henry. Have a night. Yes, that's exactly right. No, no. That's the strangest sequence of events I have ever followed in my life on a joke. Okay, Laurie, let's go back to the board. Building on the letter A and appetite, five letters in the word. The clue is some people pump iron to get it. Iron to get it. Okay, Chuck, let's this is try. An easy one. Got tile one. number seven and tile number three. Finally got one way. Probably be wrong. S and a T. I'll take the S, Chuck. Henry, some people pump iron to get it. Take the five, please. W and a T. I'll take the W, please. Give you five hundred dollars. All you got to do is tell me what it is, and I'll give you the game too. Okay. Do I hit the thing? You bet you. Okay. Hits. Water. Water's exactly right. Yes, sir. Well, Lori. I had a great time. <laughs> you certainly participated in one of the more fun crossword puzzles I've ever played. <laughs> and I uh, enjoyed it. We have some nice parting gifts for you, and you Thank have a thousand dollars too. Or pardon me, five, yes, a thousand dollars. I was right. Well, uh, Thanks for playing the game. Man. Congratulations. Henry, come down and join me with your uh, 500 bonus. 500 for the game. $1,000 and a chance of 1500 That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Was that different or what? We're going to come back in just a minute. <laughs> so to speak. A back to Scrabble and an old mountain climber, Chuck Willery. Oh, thanks, Charlie. <laughs> Okay.
Henry Beckman's got $1,000. He's challenging Bob Gunter. Bob has two wins, $4,500. Uh, this, they're going to play for $1,500. Both play the same three words. The best time wins. And Bob, I want to go over there and they'll put you in earphones. Well, Henry, just relax. This is, this is the fun part. It is, honest to It really is. Uh, it reminds you to hit your plunger because that's what stops the clock. Don't do it out of nervousness because if you do, it's going to cost you 10 seconds. Uh, no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Clock will start and we pop in the first two letters at the bottom of the screen. And you choose one of those, and the other one goes back into the shuffle. Okay, here we go. First word has six letters. You can get them over easy. Ready? You can get them over easy. Yes. Go. A. C. You can get them over easy. N. S. O. You can get them o. over easy. Canoes? Yes. Second word, seven letters. It's within your reach. It's within your reach. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Go. C. M. A. It's within your reach. R. B. Embrace. Yes. Third word, eight letters. It can be a pet project. It can be a pet project. Ready? Ready. Go. T. G. R. It can be a pet project. Yeah. Uh, can I... Uh, mm, training? Yes, that's right. He came off. Or Henry. What do you mean? <laughs> Well, Henry, Henry got through them, and he got through them in 29.1. See how you do. First word, six letters. You can get them over easy. You can get them over easy. Ready? Ready. Go. O. A. S. You can get them over easy. S. N. C. Canoes. Yes. Second word, seven letters. It's within your reach. It's within your reach. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Go. C. M. R. It's within your reach. E. A. E. Number eight. Yes. Seven seconds left for this last word. It has eight letters. It can be a pet project. It can be a pet project. Okay. Ready? Go. T. Training. You've got it, boy. They got that one. Right. He just nailed that one. Congratulations. I, I thought you were going to have some problems there, Bob. I really did. Uh, you were getting right down to the nitty-gritty with it. Henry did a good job, obviously. Thank you you can see you did. Thank you. Uh, you've got $1,000 in our thanks. You've uh, added a lot to the show. I appreciate you being on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Bob's going to come back, and so are we right after this. He's got six grand now and three wins. What you get, Bob? Four dollars. That's what it's been through a lot of training. If you live in Los Angeles or you're planning to visit the L.A. area and you would like to become a contestant on Scrabble, call area code 213-284-8644. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Well, we don't have enough time to go play crossword again, so Bob and I were just talking about... Uh... Well, when you get to something like training, when you hit that, he said, oh, gee, I'm really sorry I beat Henry. Of course, you'd be sorrier if you didn't. <laughs> but uh, he has a couple of cats and dogs. And I know doing this show, there are times when you just get the hint and you know it instantly. And there's just no way to stop it. And, of course, most other people are just going, I don't understand this at all. But then it happens to them as well. So uh, you're just lucky that it happens on Scrabble Sprint because, boy, you're really under a lot of pressure up there. Well, I want to thank you for coming by and joining us this week and playing along with us. In the meantime, I hope everybody has a good weekend. I'm Chuck Woolery. We'll be back to start off Monday all over again with you. Bye-bye, everybody. An unsolved homicide and a deadly love triangle put America's top detectives to the test.
on Case Closed. Saturday night at 7 on USA. Truffles and cookies furnished by Bo Chocola. Plus Lee High Fashion Nail Tips. Curved and styled like salon nails. Easy to do at home. Lee High Fashion Nail Tips. And gift certificates for Kentucky Fried Chicken and fresh buttermilk biscuits. You've got a right to chicken done right at Kentucky Fried Chicken. We do chicken right. Plus Flavor Ice, one of America's favorite quick freeze fruit flavored bars. 24 giant bars, assorted delicious flavors. Flavor Ice for cool refreshment. And fast, effective Q-Tex remover. It actually locks in moisture so your nails get stronger every time you use it. Plus New Lipton Fruit Tea, the refreshment of tea tingling with the taste of fruit. It's decaffeinated and sugar-free. Try lemon cooler, raspberry, and lemon lime. And Ogilvy Home Perm, the perm with a pre-perm conditioner that prepares your hair to take a better perm. Ogilvy Home Perm. Wardrobe furnished by Pierre Cardin. Scrabble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tennis speaking.